Hello? Who's this? A doctor. <gasps> what? I'm on my way. Hey, slow down! I'm not going to slow down. Where is she? Okay, okay calm down. She's in um, room A5. What happened? Well, I heard that she got hit by a car. A what? She got hit by a car. You see, a drunk driver has lost control and hit her. Is she dead? N no, she's alive, but she has severe head trauma, and she might need to perform a surgery as if she's having some internal bleeding. I'll do the surgery. W what I'll do the surgery. Adam, call me Dr. Blondondo, because I am the doctor, and I will help every single patient that is in need. You're a doctor, not a superhero. I don't care. She is the love of my life, and she deserves to be saved by me. So you are saying that you rather perform the surgery on her than any other surgeon. You're not even specialized as a surgeon. Yes, I am. You didn't tell me about this. I may be a doctor, and I may be a gynecologist, but I'm also a surgeon. I've been through school, hell and back, to become a surgeon. And this will be in a marvelous memory from her that her own boyfriend had rescued her life by performing a surgery on her. You are out of your mind. Just because you want to perform a surgery just so she can feel good about herself. Where is she injured? Beats me. I know where she's injured. I have the x-rays right here. Listen, you would have done the same thing if your husband or wife or your fiance or your boyfriend or girlfriend are in a car accident or any injury. You would have done the same thing, wouldn't you? Where are you going? I'm going to the operation room. Dr. Belandondo, shh! I need to help her. She's the love of my life. She means so much to me. I don't want any other boneheaded surgeon. I don't trust any other surgeon. But they are professional surgeons. They're not gonna do anything dumb. Oh, really? Do you know how many patients have died from surgery? You must be thinking about TV shows, Adam. Uh, it... Listen, Adam, you... Shush. I know what I'm doing. You may look at me as an idiot. Other people might look at me as a, I'm a, you know, jokey joke kind of person, but I'm not. Not only I'm a funny, happy-go-lucky person, but I am also a professional. And I like to do everything right. And that everything right is rescuing my girlfriend from internal bleeding or any other trauma that has gone into her body. Dislocated bones. You name it. If I don't perform the surgery, or any other surgeon perform this, she will die. And do you know how I will feel if I have to watch my own girlfriend bleed out and die? You may have a point. Whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you feel good, then go ahead, perform the surgery on her. I'll let the other doctors and surgeons know that you will be performing it. Thank you. One more thing. Hmm? I'm surprised you... They call security on me. Why would I? You look like the kind of person who calls security. Uh, shut up! <laughs> God. Still annoying as always. No, please. I may be annoying, but I'm also really smart. You have a point. Go. Go before I change my mind. 
Roger that, soldier. Um, Dr. Belondondo, are you sure you know what you're doing? If I didn't know what I'm doing, then well, I wouldn't be here. Ugh, good point. Let's just get the show on the road so I don't have to watch my own girlfriend die on me. Roger that. Ah, I see you're awake, sweet pea. <laughs> took quite a while, huh? Anesthesia does put you to sleep. What happened? Well, I heard that you got hit by a drunk driver and... You got transported to the hospital. Of course, I came to the hospital with you. Uh, you had some severe head trauma and some internal bleeding. And you had to perform... You were due for a surgery. But do you want to guess who did the surgery? <laughs> who? I thought you were at least smarter than this. <laughs> it's of course me. I performed the surgery on you. Why? Well, it's because I love you. It's not because I don't trust any other surgeon. I want to make sure you're safe and sound. I didn't want you to die right in front of my eyes. I know what I would do if I lose you. You're the love of my life, you know that, Sweet Pea? And I would do anything to f prevent you from getting hurt. And I did. I performed a surgery on you. Those stitches, that scar you're gonna remember, was from me. You know, if we do get married and have kids, you can tell your kids that their own father performed a surgery on their mother. I totally saved your life. And it made me feel good in myself that I had this opportunity to save your life. Yeah, it was a huge struggle since many other doctors didn't want me to do it, but you know, you may look at me as a flirtatious flirt and a happy-go-lucky jokey joke, but I'm a really serious person and I know what I'm doing. Yes, I like to be all playful and joke around a lot, but not at this moment where you are literally dying. If I haven't done the surgery on you, or any other surgeon, you would have been dead. I didn't want you to die. I did get a little nervous when I was doing the surgery on you. You know, watching that life support, hoping that God doesn't go flat, hoping to God you don't kick the bucket. This might sound a little morbid, but if you did kick the bucket, I would have joined you. I'm serious. I would. Because I don't think I'll ever find anyone else like you. We are always going to be together. We'll laugh together, smile together, <laughs> eat together, have a few drinks together play around together, especially die together. If God ever have this opportunity where we get really, really old, maybe we'll have this opportunity to literally lay next to each other on the hospital bed, looking at each other, and say, while looking at each other, I'll be there up in heaven. And you know what my response would be? Don't worry, sweet pea. I'll be with you. And then we'll both spread our wings. And then fly up to the gates of heaven together. Not only we'll spend this planet called Earth together, but we'll be in the afterlife together. Or, if you die first, I'll wait for you. I'll wait for my death. 
and I'll join you. Hmm? <laughs> I'm sorry that sounded a little rambling and crazy, but... Huh? I mean, where else would I go? Yeah, I do have a job. Yeah, you may be right. Maybe losing my life is not the best opportunity. Because I lost you. But you know me. I do have emotions. I do have heart. And I do have a glowing heart for you. When will you be dis discharged? Mmm. Well, since you did have surgery on your leg, and you did have surgery on your arm, sadly, you won't be going home. You're gonna have to go to rehab for um, physical therapy. Yeah. But don't worry. Once you're in rehab, I will visit you every single day. Mm hmm And I'll cheer you on. If every time you're due for surgery, I mean, uh, sorry, due for, you know, therapy. I'll be there for you. Maybe once I give you my power, my energy, you'll heal faster. Yeah, I know it's not some kind of magical spell or anything, but, you know, my love is power, and my love will heal you. I healed you with love. <laughs> I mean, come on, I just recently gave you a surgery. I did this for love. And I did this because I care about you. Again, I may look like an idiot, but I'm a really smart person. I would do anything. No, it's fine. I'm just a little tired. I wanted to make sure you're okay. I love you, sweet pea. And I hope you get better soon.